Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Ray from iPoemPro.com, and this is just a quick video because um, a lot of people have been emailing me some questions about the uh, beta 2 iOS 5 beta 2 that was released. A lot of people were saying that they were getting this exact error that's on the screen as well, uh, error 17. People were saying it's because uh, you're on the Windows computer, you're not using an IPSW file, you're, you're using a uh, uh, I think it's a Mac file, which I think this extension is DMG or something like that, uh, and that's not correct. Um, I have a program here. Power ISO, and I'll open that. I'll go to the DMG file, and I'll extract the IPSW file, and whenever I go into iTunes, connect my device, hit Shift Restore, and then click on beta 2 download it gives me the error 17 which you saw before um, so I know it's not a problem with the IPSW file um, this is an IPS uh, the DMG file was actually from Apple because I am a developer so that's not the problem it's not someone else was saying well maybe it's a corrupt file you downloaded it from a corrupt source and that's not that's not the case because I downloaded it directly from my Apple developer account uh, so uh, like I said um, I keep getting error 17 and then uh, a couple of other people said, "Well, it's because you're on Windows, and and it shouldn't, and it's not designed to work. Windows is Mac only." Well, I understand that, but even though I'm on Windows, there is a, a iOS. Part of me, there is iTunes uh, 10.5 beta, and the other thing is that when uh, iOS 5 beta 2 was released, um, iTunes 10.5 beta 2 was released, and that's the problem. So, if you're on a Windows machine, iOS uh, 5 beta 2 and you can't get it and you keep getting this uh, error 17 and basically what happens on your iPhone is the screen just it shows that it's powered on but there's nothing on there so you can see the screen is on but nothing is on there and it keeps getting error 17 uh, you'll look the error up and people will say uh, try different USB ports but like I said I've tried different USB ports I've even tried another computer both on a 64-bit Windows 7 operating system and 32-bit I get the same error 17 so the problem is as you can see here and I'll this is 10.5028. So this is the 10.5 10 beta one of iTunes. So what I'm going to do is close out of this, and I will go into my downloads, and I have right here iTunes 10.5 beta two, and I'm going to go ahead and install that. And then once that's installed, we'll come back to you and we'll try to restore again. Alright, so we're back, and I'm going to go ahead and go into uh, iTunes real quick and show you the change. So you go to about iTunes, and now you can see it's 10.5.0.43 before it was 10.5.0.28. So this is uh, I, pardon me, iTunes uh, 10.5 beta 2 for Windows. Um, this is the 64 4-bit version. There is a 32-bit version. Uh, this is a 64-bit version. So now I'll go to my device, go to shift, restore, I will choose the most current beta, hit open, and hopefully this time I will not get the error. Alright, so on the iPhone, had the Apple logo, the spinning wheel icon, it's back up to the Apple logo again connect to iTunes now and now instead of being just on the black screen where you can see it's powered on it's actually on the Apple logo right software driver software was installed waiting for iPhone now you may notice that my software version is 4.3.3 you may be asking yourself why because I was on the 5 beta well in my attempts to troubleshoot the issue I thought well okay well maybe it's because I'm on 5 and that's the problem maybe I need to come from a fresh install of 4.3.3 and then go to iOS 5 beta 2 so I went ahead and downgraded it back to 4.3.3 which is why you see that as a current software version but that still didn't help like I said the whole problem what it stems down to if you're on Windows and they're getting the error 17 make sure to get iTunes 10.5 beta 2 install that then do the update to iOS 5 beta 2 and as you can see it should go through so I'm not going to go through this whole process 
once this is done I'll take a quick screen capture of the uh, iPhone show you what's going on there and then we should be good to go alright so we're back and you see that it says it was successfully installed on my iPhone you'll see the progress bar go across the screen and now it's going through the activation so you'll slide the setup choose English hit next choose the United States hit next choose your Wi-Fi network you'll have to enter in the Wi-Fi password once you're connected to your Wi-Fi you hit next then you can choose set up as new phone or store I did as a new phone then you sign in with your Apple ID and then once you do that you can set up with iCloud or you can skip that and then hit next and then your iPhone should boot up to the main screen after you choose if you want to do the iCloud's backup and after you choose find my iPhone oh yeah the diagnostics too you probably want to either enable or disable that then hit next and then you'll get to the actual start using my phone and then you'll get to the normal screen go into settings general and then scroll to hit about scroll down and you'll see that you're on iOS 5 beta 2